So uh, let's picking one denomination to start off with, if that's the right word, I'm not sure denomination is the right word. A good word. Hebrew Union College, um, when was it formed? So Hebrew Union College was the baby of Isaac Mayer Wise. Isaac Mayer Wise was the most important Jewish personality in America, as far as religion is concerned, uh, in the 19th century. Wise was born in 1819 and really was a malamid, a, a teacher in an elementary school in, in Bohemia when he came to America in 1846, claiming to be an ordained rabbi and then eventually claiming to have a doctorate from a European university, neither of which was true. But he was a man of great potential and great charisma. He came to New York uh, and had a brief career in New York, then went to Albany, got into some fisticuffs on the high holidays in Albany, switched shuls, then in 1854 went to Cincinnati uh, and decided to make a big career for himself in Cincinnati. His first attempt at having a higher uh, institution of higher education was Zion College in 1855, a little known factoid of American Jewish history that's been forgotten. But he attempted to cobble together support for Zion College from the other major figures in American Jewish life, including Isaac Leeser, uh, but it, it failed. For whatever reason, it, it was only a handful of students. It was hardly more than a, a high school prep situation. Then, the uh, the next attempt was not done by him, was actually done by Isaac Leeser himself in Philadelphia, which was a traditional place, it was called Maimonides College, which you could argue was a, was a predecessor of JTS. That, ex that lasted from 1867 until about 1872 and then fizzled out. But Wise wasn't done. Wise decided he was going to establish all the major American Jewish organizations. And the first uh, of the three that he would successfully found was the Union of American Hebrew Congregations in 1873, which did not begin as a union of reform synagogues. It began as a union of supposedly all synagogues and over time developed a specifically reform character. And the union of congregations is what would, uh, allowed him the financial and, and uh, institutional wherewithal to establish Hebrew Union College in 1875, two years later, in Cincinnati. It began by necessity, not as a place of high learning. It began as a place where kids 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 years old would be sent by their parents to spend what amounts to high school and collegiate years learning Judaism, not at a high level, but essentially at whatever level they could grasp. These were not kids who had a background steeped in you know, Talmudic scholarship. And so the late 1870s, early 1880s was the first cycle of students. Their first graduation was famously in 1883, the notorious Trefa banquet, where non-kosher food was served at the graduation ceremony. But over time, he was able to build up a faculty and take it away from being essentially a low level uh, high school slash collegiate institution to being a place where college graduates who wanted real prep for the rabbinate could go to get something of a higher reform education. 